Okay, Camp Town Races. We're going to start with our first finger on the seventh fret, third finger, ninth fret. There's a little part where we're going to slide up to the twelfth fret. We're going to do a close up. We'll talk about that, how we get there and back. What's the thinking behind that? How do we figure that out? Anyway, first of all, I'm going to play it. Here with it, you could do what we call eighth notes or some uh, some quicker picking where we go. I'll teach that to my more advanced students. Okay, pause. Alright, so for Camp Town Races, a couple of things I like to do with this song beyond just play it um, is build some hand exercises and do it, and as usual, some hand position exercises as a way of setting ourselves up ahead of time so that we can play the whole thing smoothly and not getting caught into little traps like, oh, it starts with a 7th fret 1, now what? Well, I'm going to start with actually the hardest note to get to in the first section of this, which is the 3rd string, ninth fret. If I can reach up there with my third finger, my palm's up, my palm is flat, my pinky's probably up, everybody's up. Now I start the song without changing my hand position. I get back to that note without, without any problem. If I get too much down here, I might find that I can't get up there. But if I start there, I'm going to find that I can play everything that I could play at the beginning and that hard note. Other part of this exercise is we're going to try to hold our first finger down as we move our third finger as a way of building a little more uh, control of our hand and our fingers. Uh, we're going to have to move it when we get to the second string seven, but we don't have to move it until then. So part of the exercise also is going to be to hold the hand up, hold the first finger down on seven, just move the third finger. So we're going to go now we have to move it, put it back And I'm up to the third string. So if I get too hung up, I might find that note hard to get to. But if we did what we said we were going to do, which is to start with that note, we should be able to get back to it without any real trouble. <laughs> okay. There's another one in the part of this song, which is a bridge. And we're going to go from, se uh, from nine on the second string to seven on the first string, nine on the first string, all the way up to twelve. Now the basic thinking so far is first finger got the low fret, which is the seventh fret, third finger got the nine. I probably can't reach twelve smoothly with you, and if I reach my pinky up there, I'm probably not going to get a very good note. So my thinking is if I have to let go to get there, I'm not going to use my pinky. I'll use the next strongest finger, which is my third finger. Typically we're going to use whatever finger's closest, but we want our hard finger, you know, our good fingers doing the hard work and we want our weak fingers uh, staying out of some things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go third finger is now on 12. Now with my third finger on 12, my first finger is now more or less over the 9. So there's two 9's, back to 12, back to 9. So I'm going to use my first finger on the 9 here. So I started with my first finger on the 7 and my third finger on the 9. But as I adjust up to 12, I'm going to use my fingers differently. Now I'm going to use my first finger for the nines. So I'm going to go... And then I'm going to slide it back. We never want to pass a finger. We don't really want to do that. Use whatever finger's closest. It's going to be more efficient and smoother in the end and a good habit to get into. So, Camptown Races. <laughs> 